Nick, I hate to keep doing this. I hate that we keep doing this. I would like one day to come on and we aren't just trashing something. We aren't saying that it's the worst thing we have ever seen. But once again, this might be the worst thing we have ever seen. Monday Night Raw, last night, hashtag Raw Underground. Um, we are going to verbally assault this. Look at all of this crap. Sorry that we have to be uh, the tag team, negative tag team champions of the world here, but my gosh, Nick, th this is in contention for worst Raw of all time. I would, I... It's hard to, it, at least it's, be, it's winning 2020 probably right now for sure. You which know, which I, is saying something. Yeah. Um, Nick, you know, we've been saying it. This has kind of been my go-to thing. Um, one of our last shows, I can't even remember. They're all blending together now. But I'm like, we're watching WCW here. And that was a sentiment last night online. A lot of people saying that, my gosh, this is terrible. Like, I mean. 2000 WCW thought this was a bad show last I night. I was going to say, I, I didn't know that. You're more into the internet guys than I am and read them. I'm kind of insulted that they're comparing it to 2000 WCW because I, the, the, I would pick a show from that era. I mean, I don't care. There isn't a worse show than what we saw last night. Yeah. I, I mean, they, they, there isn't. I don't care if the maestro is coming. I'd rather watch the maestro. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying a lot, man. And, and dude, it, it was very similar, though, because so much went on. There was, like, resets all over the place. They promoted it as such. Shane McMahon's going to be here, which some reset that is. But Shane's going to be here, and we're going to have a new faction, and we're going to have all this new everything. And, my gosh, and it seemed like every character – was dang near reset there was more talking segments which i'm not upset about except for they were dumb but way more talking than wrestling and it seemed like one of these car crash shows crash tv russo style where just stuff was happening non-stop and none of it was any good beginning with nick let's begin with what everybody was talking about that mess that was Raw Underground. You know, I when we did we did a show a little back that you know we talked about the things we thought could improve or were really bad in wrestling today. This I don't remember if you check the forums, if you check anywhere, you may disagree with our complaints, you may like other complaints. Nobody is arguing the thing that's wrong is this isn't enough like Ultimate Fighting Champion. Right. The, right. The, there's not enough real fighting on the show. That's what wrestling needs. You, you, know, you, you know what people like nowadays? Like the, the one and a half million people that are watching seem to like the new style of flip, flop, and fly. This is the exact opposite of that. Which you, I don't... You're pitting, yeah, you're pitting your two... You're pitting my group... Who does? Who likes to see me and you like the talking, the promos, the development of character? Then you've got the new fans who like, you know, Hurricane Ranas and these five star matches. We didn't get either of that. No, we got a bootleg Ultimate Fighting Bellator style. I, I well, just, this just goes against everything that we have been told here first of all forget the brawl for all comparisons and all that that didn't work over 20 years ago but they've been telling us for the past however many weeks and months now we're getting these cinematic matches which are like fairy tales like scary movie things where we have a swamp and we got like bray wyatt who turns into an evil it cartoon character and we've got the crap that went on with the viking raiders and the street profits and they're in a dumpster and we have all this fantasy land crap and then five seconds later we have like real fighting what are you are you fantasy or are you real fighting or are you 
fake wrestling. What are you? Because you can't be all of it. Because you can't expect me to believe in the fantasy crap in Bray Wyatt, which I don't, and then expect me to go, oh, these guys are, are real, real fighters. And on top of that, your real fighters who ended the show on top of the world, MVP Lashley and Shelton. Real flunkies. Oh, yeah. Two of them lost their belts earlier in the night on the fake wrestling part. So you showed us that they're no good at the fake wrestling, but they murdered everyone in the real fighting. I mean, huh? Bogus! You you na- you nailed it, man! Like you come, you they set it up. You come in there. What does that say? Just about not even looking down the back or for what does that say about the rest of your show? Is one right. part of your show more real than the other part? Right. And why would they? Why would you do that? This is the real, the quote, real underground fighting. I, you know, we all know it's predetermined, right? And, but I mean, what you're admitting that? I mean, everybody dogs on that remember that steiner goldberg i think i got my boy nash up behind me remember yeah. when they were going to shoot the match for right. real like they were going off script right i even will admit being a wcw fan that was a terrible idea you don't tell people like and, and they're doing a similar thing here which one's tougher right the down the the downstairs one well in they ruined it the first night, though. Not that it was any good, and we'll get into that, but by having MVP, whatever, the Hurt Factory, come down and just murder everyone, you yes, just told me everybody in your basement sucks because they got wrecked in two minutes by these three guys who just so happened to lose their titles earlier in the night. So you defined them down. Now you build them back up by, and, and by beating who? I mean, I was bigger than some of those guys. Like, who are these guys outside of the one dude, Boba Fett, whatever his name was, Dabo Kato? What's your name? I don't care. I mean, Shut your mouth. It was just an absolute freaking disaster. Even if it wasn't a disaster, having those three guys win – or whatever they did, beat up everybody, ruined it. So now I know everyone in there sucks because these 50-50 nobodies, MVP, Lashley, and Shelton, just came and murdered everybody down there, even if it was good, which it wasn't. You're right. I mean, yeah, they... I, I mean, and you had guys down there beating up these no-name guys. Like, I'm supposed to be impressed now that Ziggler beat up somebody that puts the ring together. Yeah, he you know, beat I, you up, dude. That's what yeah, I, I mean, it, 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 I, this is not impressive to me. And it, it does go again. I mean, I hope people say they didn't like this because if you ever ripped on No Holds Barred, this is the exact – this was No Holds Barred to me. I, I mean, it, it was – it seemed very cheesy like that, you know. I mean, it – Oh, beyond I, cheesy. I, I just – and what was the point of the referee? Shane McMahon <laughs> kept making the calls. You know, he's done. He's done. He's done. You know, like, what right. was the pur- – it just made zero sense. Yeah, why is the ref there when Shane keeps breaking everything up? And won't get on the mic. And speaking of cheesy, let's start right there. This is how they shamed coming back. Oh, boy, let's get excited. And I do know one guy that did mark out and watch the show and got super excited because Shane McMahon was going to be on the show. One person. I mean, this guy is not cool. This guy has never been cool in apology if he was it was 20 years ago 20 years ago you if you want to argue he was cool maybe 20 but think about that just we i was 21 yeah the last time he was relevant like really relevant and, and i gotta apologize to everybody out there for uh my state uh my city Detroit, however many years ago that was, when Shane came out, the surprise, and he got like a five-minute standing ovation. This is why Shane was around for the last five years, and this is why Shane continues to get brought back because of Detroit being stupid and standing and cheering for this guy for five minutes. So, 
apologies to everyone out there on behalf of the state of Michigan. It is our fault. Look at you, giant idiot. I wasn't there, and I would have booed. But it's everybody else's fault for Michigan who was there. I mean, this guy's not cool, man. This guy is a massive doucher. He couldn't be more douchey. And every douche characteristic of Shane McMahon came out last night. I mean, he's in there. First of all, he's like, hey, hey, everybody. Hey, ain't this fun? This is fun. Oh, oh, this is fun. This is neat. And then he looks at his dancing girls and he goes, like, he does an Enzo impression. He goes, hey, hey, how you doing? How you, hey, hey, how you doing? I don't. Dancing girl. Which way is the gym? Yeah. You know, I, I, yeah. It's like, hey, how you doing? Oh, oh, oh. I don't. Unbelievable. You're cool because you have dancing girls. Like, do these people, and I'm not condoning this at all, would they, do they know that like 10 year olds have the internet that they don't need to see dancing girls? Like, that's not cool. Especially, if they want to see it, girls. It looked cheesy. It looked sad. Like, it, it, it desperate. It looked, yes. Desperate. It, it, it looked, yeah, real sad. And Shane's yes. walking around. Have you ever noticed? Why does he walk around like this? Have you ever noticed that? Is his arm broken? What is that guy? What is he's wrong with his arm? Reason. He's always just, his arm is like dangling. Like there's something wrong with it. And if there is, my apologies. But I don't think there is. Uh, and he's out there, Ziggler's in the ring. Yo, yo. And I'm a guy who wears Jordans. I want to take all of mine back. Because of this guy. I mean, hey, yo, I see your J1s. Oh, I see nice j one. I want to take my shoes back because this guy. And he's supposed to be very fit. He is so bad. And he's like 50. He's not cool. He is, is not cool. Did I miss it? Is the, the big guy, the guy that came in clearing house first, I don't remember what his name was. Um, and, Dabo uh, Cato. Dabba is that Kane. his debut on Raw? I assume so. I mean, they and they protected him. Obviously, there's they well, got to be doing something with him. Again, what did we learn about him, though? Well, that's the whole point of this entire thing. I, I mean, why is this be, happening? Right, he's just supposed to be the guy from Bloodsport, the evil guy. You know, the, I, I mean, what? It, it's a, again, I, I, I like. We keep dogging on him, and we say do different things, and they do different things, but. Like good different things, not right. you know, do something interest. I I just I don't know any. And I, Dolph's supposed to be bigger. Why was Eric the Viking Raider? Right. He needs a solo push in this. And then some guy, I don't know who this guy is. I mean, he looks big, sure, okay, but I don't know anything about him. How did any of them get there? How right. did any of them get there? Why like, is he there? Why is this happening? And they say at the beginning of the show, like, they don't have a format sheet. They don't know what's going to happen. They show that one giant guy outside of a door, and some guy with cups came walking up to them for some reason. And, Former ninja. And, yeah, and they're like, um, this has to do with Shane. We don't know what it is. You didn't see him putting up half of a ring earlier in the day? You didn't see them building whatever this set was you didn't see extra cameramen around you didn't know what was going on and then they just cut into your show like how do you not know what's going on ziggler apparently knew eric the viking apparently knew mv he knew where to go and all of a sudden like and they didn't explain this to it. it's classic these guys they just put something out there like Andrade or Alistair Black. Here's what, Alistair Black. Cheer you, for him. Boo him. Who is what he? What do you get for winning these matches? Right. Is it a tournament? What's the, going I on? I mean, it, it, what? Why are you getting in this? Why? Why is it different than the? Why does it? It's no, just no, it's, it's no, no, no ring. Nick, no ropes ring. Nick. Why is it? Right. Period. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Why? And what is this? They did not explain anything shane is just there with a mic and goes welcome to raw underground you wonder how long what, are, what are we doing here how long Yesterday. creative came up with this like Yesterday. was it yeah that's what i'm i'm wondering if it was kind of, yeah it sounds great let's do it yeah it, it 
there was zero ex just like everything they do there's no backstory there's no background there's no explanation it's just here and i'm supposed to apparently like it just because it's on television guess what a lot of other stuff is on tv too and normally the last four or five weeks i click on to other things but this was so bad I actually watched the entire show for the first time in over a month because normally I'm either watching later at night and fast forwarding or I'm watching something else, especially since sports started back up two weeks ago. I've been watching the Tigers. I've been watching the NBA. The Lakers were on last night. So maybe they were going. The Penguins were playing last night as well. Overtime. Congratulations. And then I, I couldn't take my eyes off this. I don't think that's what they were going for. But this entire show was so bad. I'm like, it, it can't get worse. It can't get worse. It can't get worse. And then it gets worse. I mean, if that's what they're going for, my gosh, but it didn't help them. They got like 90,000 more viewers than they got last week. Congratulations. I, and how many, how many segments did MVP and Shane McMahon have on your whole show? The two of them combined... MVP I, was on TV more than, than Austin used to be. Yeah, he was. He must have had at least five. That, I mean, from when they go to commercial to come back, he must have had at least five segments on that show. At least. And they at weren't least. just him, like him actually being in an interview or a match or, so, I mean, and they were big. Se- he had more airtime than Drew McIntyre. Well, and they Randy do it every or- week. Every week they get more. And it, it Drew is only in his one segment every week. He may have a match later on, but he's in his one segment, and that's it, which was the only good segment, by the way, in the yes. entire thing. The Orton, the Orton, uh, Drew, I'm excited for that match. I, I can't lie, just really quick to say that's, yeah. I hope it's a good match. We haven't seen it. I don't know what the hell you're going to do after this match, but. There's nobody else. I, I mean, the I next am. biggest guy on the show. Nick, the next biggest guy on the show right now might be MVP. What does that tell you? I think it's a very bad signal that you're putting out to the American people. And I think we've already seen MVP versus Drew McIntyre. I think Drew already beat him when he in the Lashley feud. Probably. So we've already seen that match. (laughs) I mean, but let's go back to the, the, the fighting thing. I mean, everything about this just, Couldn't be worse. I don't want to see Shane McMahon. I don't like Shane McMahon. I've never liked Shane McMahon. He's an idiot. Comes from upbringing. I mean, this is different for him, but... Parents are probably idiots, too. I I don't... I don't tune into wrestling to watch real fights. I tune into wrestling to watch the fake fights and to watch the stories. I tune into boxing when I want to watch real fights. I watch the... the, That's what I watch. championship. Or the UFC. Sure. I don't watch that for this. That's why guys like Ronda, girls like Ronda, Brock, when they bring these people in, I'm like, I don't want to see them fake fight. I want to watch them real fight on the other channel. I don't want to watch Ronda Rousey fake fight. I don't want to watch MVP or Lashley tell me that they're really fighting when they're not. I, I don't want to see that. They, I don't, it's I don't just know a the- dumb idea. And then what you said, what it does to the rest of their show. So you're telling me all this other stuff is fake and this is real. You're doing your fantasy land junk. Believe in that. But this is the real fighting. Wh- what, what am I supposed to think is real here? And maybe there's some correlation you know of. I don't know that any of this... Brawl for All, Ronda, Brock, Shamrock, Severin, whomever it may be, all the way to this beneath the arena fighting or whatever they're doing. Has that ever brought over more MMA fans? Are they? I, a I mean, few. I, has, Maybe I a mean, few. I, I, I mean, I just, I don't, I feel like those people that watch that, because I have some friends on that. When I mention wrestling to the, average mma fan they don't like it no they don't like it well look at brock they hated brock because he was a fake wrestler oh they and they drove them nuts when he got the title they hated it yep and they were happy to see cm punk get murdered i know they were 
Yes. Because they, they all told me. My friends told me. They, they did not like him. him. Yeah. I, I, I don't understand their fascination with that. I mean. I don't either. I, I just don't understand. And again, you said this. You know, we are all for doing something different. They need to do something. But that's like putting NBA players and have them play with beach balls or something. Like, no, that's not a good idea. It's different, but that's not a good idea. You know, what if the basketball players had football pads on? Yeah, there we go. Then there'll be contact, and people love football, so that it's not a good idea. Basketball is basketball. Football is football. You, you can't mix them. You know, you, that, it's just it's stupid. Kind of, kind of why we chose my background. I would rather watch both of these nights than what we watched last night. Well, everybody says those two nights are like the worst, don't make sense nights ever. This was okay. worse than those. This was the way thing, worse yeah. than those. Way worse than those. The finger poke of doom, I don't have. I, I, people, I think people are insane. I think that's one of the better nitros. Um, I love that one. I understand the David Arquette. I'm not defending it. I'm just saying I would rather watch what happened that night than this underground ring street basement fighting or whatever the hell I'm supposed to believe it is. That made the same amount of sense. Yep. It made the exact same amount of, of sense. I mean, and I know this has been beaten to death too, but the whole point of this is it's supposed to be underground and dirty and grimy and it's the street. So that's why we have like a billion edits. Every time someone punches, a new camera pops up. So you're sitting there going, like, like you got an epileptic seizure. Suffering succotash. No respect for the fans. That's I your mean, griminess? That's not the, grimy at all. It's the same as asking you to believe in a legitimate brand split war. You know, like, I know they're both WWE. Yeah, you're asking people, this is underground. Yeah, I'm sure it is. And if it was underground, hardcore the streets, Shane McMahon would be there. Yeah. Because he's, you know, he's he's known in the tough corners of the world. Yeah, man. he and he and Tupac were like best friends. Yeah. Bad back news. In the bad day. he learned a lot with bad news yeah. back in the day. Yeah, you know? bad news. If bad news brown was here, dude, this thing would already be over. Bad I news. Well, this is just that, a regular Saturday night in Harlem for bad that's news. A regular Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay. So it, it, where is this going, Nick? Where can you possibly see this going i i don't know because i don't know what you get i don't know why it's happening i don't right. know these guys came in the ring what the partial ring beat right each each guy beat a couple jobbers because i don't i don't know who these guys are and then mvp takes it over shane mcmahon's kind of cool with that but runs off i i have no idea what to think Right. I, I don't know what the, I don't know what you get. I don't know why you would want to be in this thing. Right. I, it doesn't make a lick of sense. I mean, why? Again, I always go back to the, how is this pitched? Take me to the meeting where this happened and who goes, we got it. Two, sweet. Who? Where is the person that goes, no, hey, hey, um, no. Where is that person it, or people? How does this get through? It, it just makes no yeah. sense. We are going to tell everyone that the show we do for three hours a week isn't real, but this stuff Shane is doing for no reason, that's real. In the basement. In the basement somewhere yeah i think it's an i don't know it's in somewhere and yeah it, just that alone should be enough to go pump the brakes no we're not doing it just that right there let alone the execution and the dancing girls and all the douchery of shane and everything else and every job guy that was down there it's still real to me it, it, it just is say about it. there's just, dumb. It just yeah it was not a not a well thought out, like, where does this go next? That, or what does a guy get from this? Right. How do fans think this is legitimate? 
why would how will this damage our normal product you know like how do fans feel between the two i don't think any of those questions were asked i just think someone said what do you think about underground street fund underground street fighting sounds good pal let's do it pal works for me brother (laughs) work i like are they testing this and this is going to become raw? Like, if this was successful, this the, tr- the show is going to change to this? Like, wh- what? You tried to do Shotgun Saturday night 25 years ago. It failed after, like, six weeks. What are you doing? And again, you know, they know kids have the internet. They, they probably can find porn. They don't need to see these dancing girls and think that's cool. Like, what are you doing? And thing suck. Could have even had a ring girl or something like that, other than the dancing girls in the corner. I, I, I mean, how you doing? Hey, hey, how you doing? Get out of here! Like I know how you're doing. You're doing terrible. Out of business Shane. Or something. It, yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, seriously. You stink. It was so bad. And it may not have been the worst part of the show. I don't know. This show was so bad. Um, Let's jump to the other big thing. We all thought Shane was going to have a faction or something. This may tie together. I don't know. They have technical difficulties from the beginning of the show. You know, the lights didn't go off or something. And then in the Kevin Owens segment, the microphones kept going out here and there, spotty, just little clicks here and there. Well, it turns out some group of people in black outfits threw torches or something at what I assume was a transformer or something. It looked like a concert. They just had a bunch of speakers stacked up in the back of the parking lot. They blew torches at this thing, but apparently it was only bad enough to crackle the microphones a couple of times so um and it wasn't ninjas we don't think they're dressed like those ninjas and they are dressed like the dark order which i know that's not neither of those And, and we know people might say you're nitpicking but these are little things that you should be looking at that make you know what if the angle doesn't go as well as planned at least if it's done to the best of its ability, it comes off a little better, if that makes sense. Well, and they sounded like they were little kids, like, breaking things, like kids do. They go and they smash something or they, whatever, they're teepeeing or they're breaking a mailbox or something. They're, yeah, ha get it. They sounded like children while they were doing this. I mean, apparently they're not very good at what they're supposed to do because all of that and Kevin Owens in the mic was fixed. That's all that like way to go, guys. You really showed them. <laughs> what you know are these good? people supposed to be? You are criminals. Said you, ha- you have your idea who you think it's going to be, right? No, I don't. No? It, it sounded like children. That jabroni brain blur. You th- I, I. I don't know how this can be good because I don't know who's who could be debuting. It's like you had told me earlier could be four Nexus guys. I mean, uh, NXT NXT guys. guys. I don't care. I assume it's NXT guys. Who else could it be? I mean, I don't know. With them, it could be four random raw superstars. They just grouped together. I, I mean, they is it people who got fired three months ago and they're getting revenge. Like, I, they didn't do a very good job because, again, do you Kevin Owens this, goes like this, and, and the mic was back on. Great you job, think, fellas. You told them. you think them. they'll have any tie-in to the Shane thing? It could. It, it could. I don't I, care. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know how. Yeah, I, I don't either. I, I just don't. It's not like in, It's not like the days when we had the Monday Night War. And I had talked to you earlier about this. Even during the Monday Night War days, if you kind of, if we kind of already knew who these four, let's just go back and say it was the Radicals coming on over. It's still kind of cool to see them come over. Mm -hmm. There's no one. I I don't care who this is. This is going to be a major letdown regardless when we find out who these people are. 
Right. It's not, it's not, you're already going to have seen them on NXT or some kid is going to be tweeting. These guys were big in Japan. I don't care. Yeah. Well, I, and I, what I are they know. doing? Is this a takeover? I don't know. We, cause we've seen that the first time it was done was the best. The NWO. Oh, yeah, that was amazing. the only time it was done. And we've seen it tried to be done like a thousand other times. It's not good. What are, what are you doing? It was just cheese ball, corn ball. And you've ran it so many times. To be honest with you, had they not run another takeover angle until 2020, like since the NWO had been vanished, it would have been maybe okay. Time to try another one. 20 years, people have left, people have come. Right. But we've seen so many of these, like these guys coming in to different and maybe not even all in WWE, you know, maybe right. some in Impact and whatnot over the years when they tried to reboot the NWO down right. there about ten years ago. Um, well, when we don't know that this is a take, but I assume sure, it is. Don't. I assume it is like random people blowing or up your thing. They just want to commit violence. Are they? I mean, I, I, I don't know. Where are the police? Where were the police this Nia entire? Jax. Yeah, Nia Jax, yeah, it, she serious. pushes a ref, and she gets suspended indefinitely. It was such a heinous act that we don't even know how long we're going to suspend her for without pay. But, but Bailey, had, jumped in, Bailey jumped another superstar in the back and forced her out. Like, she went, right. that was kind of the angle, right? Yeah. Bailey injured Kyrie Singh or whatever, and she had to leave or whatever. She jumped her. Did Bailey get any repercussions for jumping another super? The, no, she gets to be on both shows all the time. This is what we've met. Again, not saying there should be repercussion. Or, I, I'm not right. arguing that. Right. I'm just arguing it doesn't make sense. No. Why is one get one guy one touches a referee and the other murders another superstar in the back and right. gets no penalty? We have a girl allegedly poison a guy. Mm. Where are the cops for this? You poisoned a guy, and he collapsed twice. And they acted like he was dead. Shawn Michaels 95 style, which I have more to say about. Where are the cops for that? I don't know! Where also, are the cops for blowing up whatever? Probably what wouldn't be along, allowed is pretending to put someone else in a drunk driving accident. And, and that, you know, I, I don't know if that was... I don't think that's legal. Like, if I crash someone's car and then poured alcohol over them and yeah. put them in the car. I would assume I'd probably have a charge or so brought up on me. Well, and they showed us that night when the police were there. And all of a <laughs> sudden, a, they just didn't a, care anymore? To arrest Matt, they were they were serious about Hardy not yeah. drinking. You know? yeah. But, but forget about the guy that... A joke by Seamus? Nah. Yeah, and, and, and he hit Elias. I guess we're just... Our, oh, it was a joke? Oh, you should have told us. No problem. Have a good day, pal. Don't think that's how that works. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, but we can poison guys. No problem. We can joke set up a car crash. Don't push no problem. Uh, but, hey, do not touch a referee because that is such a devious heinous. thing. Heinous, heinous act heinous. that we don't even know. We can't decide yet how long you're going to have to go to bed without dinner for. It may be weeks, Nia Jax. How dare you? And what a huge push to her. She beat up some little referee. I feel like she's over now. Yeah. Oh, huge. Going back to that collapse, though, dude. You hear about this all the time. People thought it was real in 1995 when Shawn Michaels collapsed. I did. Because of the way they did it. Because we knew he legit got beat up. We knew that was a shoot. And then when they did it, they had the idea of having everything go radio silent and have Vince get in the ring. No one talks. Whoa, this is serious. Holy crap. And it worked. People bought it. Problem is, they've been now doing that once a month for 25 years. Yeah, the X. Or no announcing. Just go silent. Whenever anybody gets hurt and they take them off in an ambulance and whatnot, they don't talk. So it's just like anything. 
When you do it a million times, it loses its luster. You know what would be crazy now? If they talked through the guy laying I, I on the ground. Gonna, I was going to say, you know what I would do? I would pull off it completely. I would take the camera right. and go right to the announcers and only – it's so bad, Sloke. We can't show you. Yeah. Like, this is real. Yes. Like, we can't show you what's happened. This guy's got a family. I would have the announcers apologize. You know, Randy Orton right. is in the ring, but this is – he has a wife at home, and we would like her to be notified first. We'll keep you up to date. Mm -hmm. That's um, a great idea. Yeah, right. But instead, but, we got to do this radio silent thing. BS, get the yep. camera all up in his face. I mean, it's, it's the boy that cried wolf, man. No one buys it. They haven't bought it. That was 25 years ago, Nick. And they do it like once a month. When anybody gets beat up, they shut their mouths. When, you're, when your people in charge of creative are still the same from 25, 30 years ago, I mean, you got Vince's there, you got uh, Richard. Bruce Pritchard's, you know, do, you know, I mean, they're doing, it's the bubble. They, they don't, they're, they're doing the same thing. Yeah. And, and they do I that. Mean, I know they everything. bring in other guys here and there, but when yeah. you got Vince at the helm. Right. Nothing matters. He's the final say. It worked with Michaels in 95. Yeah. Right. Great. Great. Well, it doesn't anymore. And that whole thing, it just, did they poisoned him? One for me and one for my okay. homie. What? Well, it's just dumb. It's just dumb. And you poison a guy and then his wife, like, tries talking it out first instead of just pounding that chick. I'm going to walk by and slap some babies, maybe. Just pound the chick. He, she poisoned your wife. Beat her senseless. Oh, wow. pinch you so hard. Your, your husband. Beat, beat, beat him. Beat her up. It's so Show stupid. Some, I can't even freaking. I'm getting dumbed down over here. Show uh, some emotion. Right. Yeah, she comes out and goes. I'm gonna give you a chance to explain. Just pound her. I'd be mad. I would. Be, I would have shown more emotion if my. Fifth neighbor down the street got poisoned. I don't even know who the hell they are. <laughs> right. I, 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 I would have been up there. Still my neighbor. They're right. human, you know, I, certainly Who's rolling around here there. poisoning people. What's it's, wrong with them? Certainly wouldn't go down there and try to bargain or talk to the poisoner. Yeah, it's just <laughs> idiotic. It, dude, and so much other crap. Why was some random chick from The Bachelor there? Once again, no explanation. I know they're doing some lover boy thing with Angel Garza. But she's like, hi, I'm Demi from The Bachelor. Cool. How'd you get in here? <laughs> there, we're, we're in a pandemic. What are you doing here? And, there, and there's another one. How'd too. you get here? I give it, you know, in The Bachelor, I, don't, I, I, I have not watched the whole episode. Um, my, my better half does watch it. I don't think you're getting a crossover audience there, though, man. Um, I, I don't, I would assume, I could be wrong. I don't know the demographics and everything. Well, apparently that chick, I didn't, I read this online. Could be totally wrong. She was a wrestling fan and talked oh. about that on the show or something. They got 1.7 million viewers last night. I almost guarantee you 1.6 of those do not watch The Bachelor. I would assume so. Which I also, is that on Monday? I think it's on Monday. I don't even I, Monday or Tuesday, I whatever. I tell you, dude. Sorry. It's and no offense, I mean, that show, I'm not telling other people out there. I'm not ripping on that show. I bet you that show draws a hell of a lot more viewers than Monday Night Raw. Like a hundred times more viewers. <laughs> <laughs> probably start. We probably should start watching that and breaking down that on your podcast. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It, it, it might be better all the way around. Uh, I'm sure the writing is probably better. Sadly enough, the writing on the Bachelor Bachelorette is better than this. Well, it obviously, probably makes sense. They have a rhyme and reason why they do everything. <laughs> right, right. And I'm pretty sure they actually literally introduce each character on the opening show of the season. Yeah, they do. And every single time they're on, it says where they're from and what they do. <laughs> Unlike this show, where I have no idea what any and of these I, people are or what they meanwhile, do. Meanwhile, yeah, six months later, I still don't know who Selena's guys are. I still have no clue. Yeah. Three, six months, friggin' two years later, I don't know anything about Andrade. 
I have no idea. I have He's no marrying idea. Charlotte Flair. Yeah, in real life. I yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. Um, other things that just didn't work for me, brother. Um, once again, no explanation. All of a sudden, Ruby Riot wants to be friends with Liv Morgan again. And Liv just accepts out of the blue. She just goes, hey, I'm sorry. Um, and then they're best friends again. Okay. Just like that. No explanation needed. No nothing. They just didn't have anything for either of these two girls to do. So they're like, frick, put them back together. Nothing. No build. No nothing. Liv has not been on TV for like two months. And all of a sudden, she just comes back and goes, okay, you're my best friend again. Huh? Yep. Not that I care about either of them anyway, but just more zero explanation. And just what? do stuff and expect people to buy it. What happened to Kevin Owens? Oh, this he's guy Dr. Phil now. With feelings? He has fe He cares whether Ruby Riot. Like, and I'm not saying like I'm inquiring on this. He was stating yeah. this. Like he really cares whether they get back yeah. together. Well, he's a he nice guy. He cares what people think about him in the locker room. You know, I don't care what gimmick you saw Kevin Owens ever be, whether it was face or heel, you know, the face stone cold Kevin Owens or right. the heel I'm a whiny guy. When did he ever care, like, uh, this Care Bear Owens? <laughs> like, it, it, it's, this is It's terrible. love a lot, dude. It yeah. love a lot Owens, dude. Yeah. It, <laughs> it's so oh. – this guy – I'm not ripping on – I really like Kevin Owens. You I can think talk. he's awesome. Yep. I think the guy in ring work is great. I've said it a million times, and I'll continue to say it. I'm a mic guy, and I think he's really good on the mic. Yep. He's and he can work. Yes, everything about him works, but he's terrible right now. And that's not his fault. No. But, oh, it was bad. I mean, it's just, it's just the story of everything. I mean, I know why they, they had to do something with him, and I guess they needed a good guy, so he's – Nice guy, Kevin. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he was fine in this segment. I have no problem with him. I just didn't, like just didn't make caring. sense. Right. What are we doing? And I'll go back to the top of the show. We are now promoting real fighting. This is real fighting. This is MMA style matches that are over in 10 seconds where we're throwing forearms and elbow shots we saw ziggler doing choking that people out for real choking like, people yeah. out yeah. tapping out all of that mm -hmm. um and in the last three weeks you have had a swamp match where a guy was drowned apparently and was seeing visions and was held captive in a barn and saw dogs and bunny rabbits and and Alexa Bliss in the sky. And last Friday, we had Alexa get molested or whatever, abducted by the big scary clown man. A week before that, we had a man have his eye ripped out of his head. But tune in at 10 and we're going to really fight. You can't be all of those things. None of them work. <laughs> you, you, it's like they're throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks. They have literally gone from every extreme possible. Nightmare Freddy Krueger guy. Pull your eye out of your head. And now, well, that crap didn't work. Let's do real fighting. Shoot fighting. With pole dancers and Shane not cool whatsoever, McMahon. Now, what you did was bogus. You can't be all of those things. Like, this isn't Saturday Night Live. Like, not this to isn't a sketch. Give MVP five segments. Well, and then, yeah, you got MVP and Shelton in both worlds it, this, on the first night. 
they lose in the one world and then dominate the new fun crazy world you was lucky punk what are you doing and you wonder why your ratings are 1.7 and they're excited about that hey 1.7 we're excited we got 90,000 more fans than last week and i can't imagine any or many or any of them are going to come back to watch uh, did you did they tune in you think for shane some probably did yeah, I mean, and I said earlier, I had one guy who has not been watching. He's always paying attention, huge wrestling fan. He was just furious for whatever. They got him, hook, line, and sinker. I mean, he thought this was, and he didn't tell me what he thought it'd be, but he thought it was going to be the start of something new. He's like, oh, well, Shane and the new faction and blah, blah, blah. He bought right into it, and from the get-go, he was pissed. He was like, oh, this is oh, he, crap. They got he me. He didn't like it. Okay. Oh, he hated it. He hated it. And he's pissed. I'm never watching again, which I know we will, but we all do. We all fall back into that. But he was pissed. For whatever reason, he thought this time was going to be different. And, tell and it buddy, never is. We all, we all have been there. Yeah. We all have been there. We all see things. I don't know how many times over the past couple of years, me and you have been like, Okay, what's happening? And, you're, uh, and one week later, yeah. yeah. And you're just, what the hell? See, and this you didn't know? do that for me. I watched because I was like hate watching because I saw Shane McMahon. I'm like, this is going to suck. I was recording it, it because you had told – I was recording it because I had seen Shane was going to come on. I'm yeah. like, I could care. And then there's playoff hockey on. So I was like, there's no way. I'll, I'll just right. watch this right. whenever I have a chance. And you text me about what was going on. And I had to take a look at the intermissions and fast forward through and see what this was. It was a train wreck. It you couldn't terrible. take your eyes off it. It was so bad. Maybe they should just try this every week. Be as bad as possible so that way you have to watch. No, it's not going to change unless no. they get pushed or USA and Fox and whoever says, hey, Vince, this ain't it. Fix it or we're pulling the plug. And who knows if that is even possible? I don't. I don't know if that is even possible. Anything, possible? Uh, anything else, Nick? On well, what was quite possibly, I, I, I swear, was, I, you wonder if Russo was writing this. I mean, you really do. And I'm not no, the biggest I, I Russo think, hater on I, I won't even lie. I would take him back right now. Heck yeah! I, I I would take him back in, in a, a second. I'm not the hugest Russo guy, but I would try him over. If you're going to keep recycling and not just go out there like he found Vince Russo and picked him out of some sort of obscurity, if you will, um, this I'll is just as bad as any of his worst stuff. This yep. is it, it, and if at least not he worse. Can, at least he can say, "I'll give him this." Whether people hate him or not, he did build some guys. Sure. You know, he did build uh, the rock, you know, Austin, these guys, he, he, that, that, that the majority of the card, 75% of the show was absolute garbage under him, but 25% was good. Yep. He hit, he had some good stuff and, and that 25% I'm sorry, of the show is not it's, good. It's better than this. Yes. It, that stuff sucked, but this is, it's right there. It is right there, 93 to 95 WWE, 2000 WCW. This are both is better. neck and neck. They're, I think they're but I would rather, but look, and look who we're watching. Would you rather watch Hogan and Nash, or would you rather you know, watch MVP and Shelton Benjamin? Right, right. You know, I'm I mean, watching Hogan and Nash, yeah, and I'm watching rather, Michaels and Bret Hart, Bret Hart in 95, yes. and Diesel I, I Bret Hart. I get it. I would rather watch Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels in 95 over anyone that's on the program right now. And that includes the guys I like. Yep. No question. No question. At least the guys doing what they're currently doing, like a Seth Rollins, who's really good, but this gimmick, dude, they're, it's like they're trying to ruin this guy. I mean, ever since he won that belt at 35, man, he has had a bad year, man. I mean, 
And, it, and again, he's another guy. It just keeps getting worse. And I was in there with a thing we didn't mention and we don't have time. Dominic Mysterio. That's all you had to say. Whoa. What is that? I didn't want to see him 15 years ago either. I don't want to see him now. And I, I know I say that. I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him. Well, uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. It's not good. It's not good. Um, well, Nick, we have once again solved the world's problems. I, hopefully next time we're talking about Cherry and being amazed and excited and can't wait for something. I mean, I, we'll keep hoping. I would love to be wrong. We've said it. I would love to be wrong. I would love to turn on next week and all of a sudden this makes sense. I would love to want to rush home to watch wrestling. I haven't had that feeling in like 20 years. Well, if it keeps being as bad as it is, maybe that will be. Because once again, it was the worst and I couldn't take my eyes off it. For Nick, I'm Ryan. See you next time. Pleasure's all yours, Bucky boys.